everyone, I'm Clayton Christen. Yeah, I know it's been a while, I don't post videos, I'd like to apologize. But uh, as I mentioned before, YouTube is not my first occupation, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> because I really like to record videos for, for YouTube. Um, so as you guys know, as you guys might I know, do know I'm a graphic designer, so and I, I create projects and 3D videos and do know illustrations for Shutterstock. So it requires a lot of work, a lot of I spend hours and hours, you know, sometimes even overnight creating these things, uh, which makes me, you know, sometimes I'm really tired, I don't feel energized to, to record the videos anyways. And uh, I also was on holidays with my partner, so we went, we went to Mas Palomas in Gran Canaria, which is, you know, part of Spain. Actually, it's closer to Morocco, to, to Africa, Anyway, so uh, it, it is an, an amazing place, guys. Amazing place. Maybe I record a video talking about Mas Palomas because we totally fell in love with the place, anyways. Uh, so that's being said, in today's video, I'd like to do a react to a, a video called Irish People Try Brazilian Snacks. Why would you like to do this first? Because I'm Brazilian. And second, because I live in Ireland. And I have already mentioned this, and actually I, I have a video here on the channel where I talk about the difference and the similar similarities between Irish people and Brazilian people, uh, which you can, you can see here in the cards. Before I start, I would like to invite you, if we're reaching this video for the very first time, I'd like to invite you to, to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and comment down below, okay, what do you think about the video, if you have already tried Brazilian snacks, what do you think? <laughs> and share, and share this video with your friends, with your family, with everybody, okay? This video is from the Facts channel, but I, I, haven't, I haven't seen this video, so that's gonna be a genuine react. So, uh, yeah, no more talk, let's, let's watch. We are here to eat different types of Brazilian foods. Mmm, I'm so excited. It's like... Guarana Antarctica com Guarana em pó junto. Fica muito melhor. Guarana Antarctica. Antarctica. It smells like Red Bull. That's nice. It smells Red Bull. Sugary, doesn't it? She's fizzy drinks go. That destroy most of the planet's children. It's not too bad. This looks like heroin. <laughs> Oh, it's like so pouring pure granite into an already sugar-filled granite drink. It's like gravy at the top. It's all manky now. Yeah, it's just even it's the tangier now. It's even sweeter now. Very good. Let me pause. Um, yeah, because uh, the 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 the, the guarana, it's a fizzy drink, fizzy drink. Uh, but it also have because it comes from from a fruit. But you you also have the powder, a kind of a Guarana flower. If I have to to choose, you know, I would rather just stick to to the fizzy drink because uh, I don't think it's good. I don't know. I don't know. People people use it, for example, the powder because it's also very. Um, it's a kind of a you know energy drink, guarana. Maybe that's why the guy said, yeah, it smells Red Bull, because maybe they use guarana on Red Bull or energy drinks anyway. So yeah, that's interesting. I'm gonna I'm gonna research anyways. So, um, but it's very, very popular. It's a very Brazilian drink, anyways. So let's keep watching. They're gonna try brigadeiros. Mmm, I love it. I love it. Even though it's full of calories. <laughs> so yeah, let's keep watching. Brigadeiros do Brasil. Brigadeiro. Brigadeiro. You got a gun for it? Oh, yeah. This is actually the traditional way you eat. Yeah, it's nice. It's so condensed. What's in it? It tastes like, like fudge and mm. caramel. You're like, right. Yeah. Every delicious thing. Do you know what it tastes like? Mm. Do you ever make brownies and it's just a dough? Mm, yeah. And it's really like brownie dough. Mm. If you're into chocolate and that now, you know, I'd be more of a cabbage man. So I wouldn't be big into that, but that's nice. Doce de leite. The guy, I don't know his name anyways, he's just gonna stick his finger on the brigadeiro and start eating like this. We usually eat brigadeiros on birthday parties, you know, or gathering, but uh, Usually it's very, very popular. It's very specific for parties. So usually people, when, you, when, when they make brigadeiros, they put in a kind of a, you know, paper. Um, I'm gonna show you here, you know, so you have an idea. So you don't put your finger there. For a Brazilian, you know, you, you guys might know that we Brazilian, we are kind of, you know, we are very, 
we don't like to get things with our naked hands. We use usually we use a lot of of nappings and uh, so eat brigadeiro this way. It's I don't know. I don't like it. It's not hygienic, anyways. But uh, anyways, <laughs> doce de leche. Let's see. This is uh, <laughs> dolce de leche. I like it. She no, no, didn't no. like it. <laughs> oh come on, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> let me let me go back a yeah. little bit. Dolce leche. I like it. No no don't. She didn't like it. <laughs> yeah, it's kinda like toffee but a lot smoother. Really smooth. It's too it's really like heavy, um, sweet. Like the um, sweetness is really overpowering. It reminds me. Yeah, it, it can be very sweet. I mean, um, I remember the first time, because I mean, dosi de leche, I think, I don't know, you can use too many type of dessert, you know? Eating straight for, for the pot, maybe one or two spoons for me would be okay. But if you eat a lot, yeah, you can, you can get a little bit sick because it's too sweet. I remember I went to, when I was, when I was a child, um, me and my parents, we went to to um, to a, a barbecue, a steakhouse, you know, and we have eaten a lot already. And I asked for for the dessert, and the dessert was a kind of a dosi gelati cream, you know, it was a dessert with a lot of, you know, dosi gelati. And I think I got maybe two or three spoons, and I was already uh, sick because it was too sweet. It is nice if you have a little bit, you know, as a feeling. In a, I don't know, in a donut or in a sweet bread, something like this. But uh, as I said, eating straight for, for the, from the pot maybe can be a little bit, I don't know, too much sweet. So It reminds me of the baby food I never had. You know, that expensive stuff <laughs> that your mother walked past. Started off really nice. Now, boxes in the teeth with a horrible taste then. Suco de caju. Let's Suco de caju. <laughs> She didn't like That's it. disgusting. <laughs> what is it? It says cashew or cashew on it. It's not cashew enough, is it? Um, pepper, pepper juice. It was Come on, it's like, so demanding. You know, peppers make you move. It's a very distinct taste. No, it's actually, it's refreshing. Mm, it's good, it's, it's like really good. It's rough. You know, like, good, I actually like, I, actually I like, like that. that, I drink that. Do you know what it's, what, do you know what I don't like? The fruit, the cashew fruit. I taste it, I mean, well, not a long time ago, I mean, uh, I've been drinking this the, the juice for more than thirty years, but uh, I tried I've tried for the very first time the, the the cashew fruit maybe five six years ago when I was in Brazil before coming to to Ireland, and the fruit I didn't like. That is really disgusting. But the the juice is quite nice. Oh come on, <laughs> she's she's a little bit picky. Sorry, <laughs> each person has their their taste, you know. So uh, let me go back a little bit. You know what I mean? The peppers make you move. It's a very distinct. The guy it's is so it's funny. Actually, it's refreshing. Goiabada cascão. Oh! It's bad in you. It's bad. Do you want me to get you? I regret coming here today now. I regret coming here. <laughs> like it's like a far off cousin of the fig. I, I was just going to say, I don't even know what figs taste like, but that's what I imagine yeah. they taste like. It's like strawberry on steroids. I I that and I, it's terrible beyond all belief. Wow. It might be okay on toast. Geleia wow. de mocotó. Let me pause a little bit. Yeah, I, as you guys, you guys might not know, but uh, my partner is Spanish. And uh, I tried, when I went to Brazil, I brought, um, I brought um, the, the marmelade, the, the goiabada. And uh, which kind of, it's similar to a very uh, known Spanish sweet called membrillo Mem membrillo membrillo something like this but he don't he didn't like it he didn't like it as, as well so i mean he didn't say he, he he didn't like but i know him he i know his face and uh you know considering his face i think he didn't like it <laughs> which is funny because i tried both membrillo and mem when i tried membrillo it was very similar the taste was quite closer because I think the process is basically the same the, the, the only difference is the fruit uh, so yeah Geleia de mocotó It smells a bit like coke or something mm. The jelly of a what? <laughs> is it? He's a vegetarian He's a vegetarian 
Oh, you got! What are you having that? <laughs> what happened? The oh, jelly of a what? Is this? Jelly of a vegetarian. Who? I, I didn't understand. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me put this. Seriously, I'm still struggling to understand Irish accent, okay? But it's not your fault, Irish people. Don't get me wrong. It's my fault. I really have to train my, my ears better, even though I've been living here for six years. But some, some things that. Some part of the things I can I can understand. Let me let me I'm gonna have to Google this Mokoto jelly. Mmm calls it's made of calls feet. Okay. And the guy is vegetarian. I didn't know that. Oh yeah, that's true because I mean we have a we have a kind of a stew called also Mokoto, which is made of of, of the, the calls feet. I don't like I don't like this stew. And I think the, the, the jelly, I think I maybe tried once or twice in, in my life. I, yeah, I don't like that much as well, so... But some Brazilians just, just love it. Oh, you got! Are you having that? <laughs> so, well, alright, we'll go with Brigadero first, right? Yeah, because that, that was nice. Uh, the cheese was delish. And the fizzy guarana, the can of guarana. The guarana drink was lovely. Pepper, pepper juice, that was the one. Yeah. Winner. Winner. I, t I take that one with me. The pepper They're juice. all actually delicious. Yeah, I take that one. Until the last... Until the, the, the two jellies. <laughs> it's quite funny. Here in Ireland, there, there are loads there. I mean, this video is from 2015. By the time there was some, some Brazilian uh, shops here in Ireland, but I mean, since then, because I was already living here in 2015, I arrived here in 2013 anyways. And uh, what I'm seeing, there are more and more Brazilian shops here and all these shops, they sell all these products there, especially the, the Guarana, the fizzy drink. So yeah, Irish people get quite used to because you're gonna see a lot of these, you know. <laughs> but it's funny, I like it. I, I, I didn't see, I hadn't seen this video. So it was a very genuine, genuine react. And it's very interesting to, to see, to know what Irish people uh, think about uh, Brazilian products. They like caipirinha, I think some of them, most of them, they like caipirinha because here in, uh, on the pubs they serve caipirinha, I mean, sometimes caipirinha with vodka, which which actually is called caipirosca, but I, I prefer the original one, of course. Um, but it's very interesting, because uh, in my mind, I mean, for example, when she was complaining about goiabada, about doce de leite, in my mind I said, what? Frigadeiro, doce de leite is larger than life, you know? <laughs> it's so good, so good. But it's a type of thing that uh, we, don't know, we, we are used to these things when you were a child. Of course, if you're used to, to eat some type of things since you were, since you were a child, of course, you, 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 you might like, you might get used to that. You know, for them, it was the very first time ever they were trying that, so. That's it, guys. I'm gonna put the here in the cards, okay? The, the link for this video, so you go there and, and have a look. It's just a three minutes video. And um, again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up if you want to, okay? Uh, subscribe to the channel, comment, share, and I see you guys in the next video. Have a very nice day, guys. See ya, bye-bye.